have this esteem in life. It's not something to make us pass on the ingredients of the culture. Ang Diyos, nalubusan, meron siya ang itinatama sa puso. Yes, yes. Pangalawa, Hallelujah. Wait upon the Lord by seeking His presence. At ito ang napakaganda. Dahil di siguro din may isa ka din kapipintasan rin na arami din na yung upset while waiting for the answer of the Lord. We need to seek His presence. While I trust in your unfailing love, my heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord for He has been good to me. Di ba yung preceding verses niya, how long or how long? But David is now giving advance praises on what God will do in His promise to him. Sa mga pangako ng Diyos sa buhay ni David. Ito na sinasabi din. In Lamentation chapter 3, 19-20, dito ni Jeremiah. Ano yung pagpapang Jeremiah? I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness in the cow. I will remember them and my soul is downcast. Within me, within me. Amo yun ibang baka ni Jeremiah dito ay I have given all your messages to this people Lord in 30 years of preaching. None of them listen. But you know, Jeremiah never become a failure. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for His compassion. Never fail. They are new every morning. Where is your faithfulness? The Lord is good to those whose hope is in Him. To the one who seeks Him. Amen. Tell me your son, nangaral. Ulo ito malam na isa awan itinamati ng Jeremiah. People in the sight of people, Jeremiah might be unsuccessful and a failure, but in the eyes of the Lord, he never be a failure. Why? Because Jeremiah was so faithful. In seeking the presence of the Lord, amin amin nga banan na napasamak ni Biag ni Jeremiah, awan pi sa balin ni naramid na nudiipi ng sapul ti presensya ti amen. Alak pa kaya yung mga kapos? Kasi mga whether nobody follows you as long as the presence of God is in your life, you keep on seeking the will of the Lord, you will always be. A successful because of the Lord. That's why he was called the weeping prophet. When God seems silent, learn to seek the Lord. At alam niyong kaya tungo ito ng kapin pintas ng pilasa pin the Bible. I learned about seeking the Lord. Sabi dito, God is the ultimate blessing because the greatest blessing is God Himself. Not of what He can give or what He can do. It is. His presence alone. The best blessings of the Lord is God Himself. If the presence of the Lord is in your life, yun ang pinakamagandang pagpapala ng pagkakaroon. Hindi yung kung ano ang physical at material na bagay na pagkakaroon. Hindi. Yung presensya ng Panginoon. Bakit? Ito yan. In 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verses 2 and 7, He said, before matay ni, ni David dito yun. That all of the victories he received. He said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I called out to my God. For his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. You know what David is telling here? Lahat ng mga katagumpayan na nangyari sa akin, Thank you, Lord. Lahat ng mga victories I received from life, in life, thank you Lord. But there is only one thing na kung ano ang pinasasalamatan ko sa Panginoon ay yung tuwing ako ay na, ano rin, nagsasangin din, umiya at umihingi ng tulong yung presensya ng Diyos. Pinapakinggan niya. Hindi na niya he, he never remember the things that God gave him. Those are the those are the consolations according to David. Pero pinaka primary price niya ay yung presence ng Panginoon sa buhay niya. Jesus Christ attested this ano, principle in Matthew chapter 27 verse 26. Ito ang nilipin na. About nine hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sa bang which means, my God, 
why have I forsaken you? Brothers and sisters, I want everybody to look at this thing. When Jesus came here in on earth to have his ministry, lahat ng mga persecution, lahat ng mga pahirap, lahat ng mga temptation, kaya niyang dapat kabuntayan. But when, Matthew chapter 27 verse 46 came, this is the time that Jesus saw himself. He did not succeed. Why? Because first time in the eternity past, he experienced that God, his father, forsaken him. You know what is this meaning? God really intent, ang Diyos talagang ginawa niya, iniwan si Jesus. Alam niyo ba kung ano ang, ang implication niya? niya? Bakit siya iniwan ng kanyang mama? Dahil sa una at uling pagtatataon. Sino mang mananampalataya at titingin kay Jesus, kailanman hindi na nila ma-experience. Yung sinabi ni Jesus, my God, why have you forsaken me? God let Jesus to be forsaken in order for the sinners, you and me, brothers and sisters, to be found by the Lord. Kat kapot ay naramit ni Kristo di siya yung kawagas ay atin at sa siya sinuman na mamatig ni Kristo handang ton ng experience di mapaybayan ang itiapo. At simple thing na lang ni Jesus ay tinugat tayo na binaybayan ni Diyos. It was Jesus Himself who was forsaken by God for us to be found by the living God. That's why in the